Oh, look what happened yesterday when I lost my camera. I found it on top of the water tank like four hours after I tried to find it. Anyway, this is a stainless steel rod. And this is just a piece of stainless steel sheet, you know, folded like, like that and bolted in there. And then this guy is just some weird connector I got when I bought a bunch of stainless steel. Anyway, it's just a 90 degree connector thing. So this just goes in these holes and you can pick whichever hole you want to move the pontoon back and forth a little bit. Anyway, that holds the pontoons steady. And I didn't want to put anything in the middle here because the driver can paddle. And if there's anything in the way there, the driver can't paddle. Anyway, I've also got one of these on the other side, but that pontoon is swung in, so it's not doing anything. And I also, you know, when I couldn't find my camera, made a tail cone for this propeller back here. I've not put it on yet. Hopefully it fits. I'll go grab the cone in a minute. Me and my little dude here were walking around and I was thinking about how to make stainless steel pedal gears and I was thinking, you know, if only I had like a thick-ish sheet of stainless steel and uh, then I was walking around and this is made out of stainless steel. This entire keg and it's got a circle on the top and a circle on the bottom. Now the whole circle is too big, although this rim would be perfect. I could just cut teeth into this all the way around. It might even be worth, you know, redoing the mount stuff to accommodate a bigger gear, because that would work really well. The other idea would be to cut a piece out of here, either the same size or maybe slightly better and and take the edge and bend the teeth up and do some kind of trickiness. I don't know, there's a bunch of... This gives me some options, anyway. Another idea would be to take some of this thin stainless and bend it so it fits along all the teeth on there. And then make, you know, the small gear out of a solid chunk of stainless steel. I can find a chunk big enough for the small gear somewhere. Here's my propeller cone. It's just a... A steel tube that fits inside the current propeller tube. And I drilled a hole in the in the correct spot so the the current bolt should go through this and hold it on. And then I just laid some of that plastic. You know, this plastic I'm using for everything. It was just from. Uh, I'll show you. This is what I have left of it. It came from a tabletop from a boat. I don't even know what the boat looked like, but someone was getting rid of it, and I took it. So I don't actually know what material it is, well, other than some kind of plastic. Another thing I got curious about was one of these, you know, rope winder helper thingies. And I opened this one, and it happens to have this gear in it, which looks like probably brass. It's about the right size. I would have to bevel the teeth a little bit. Uh, that's another possibility. I have a brass rod around here somewhere that could conceivably be manipulated into a circle shape to make the teeth. I do want to match the the gear materials so one doesn't wear through the other. Uh, kind of leaning toward doing the stainless steel. Still thinking though. So I have this piece of brass or bronze or some kind of copper alloy. There's the cross section. I'm pretty sure I could convince this to become a circle. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to bend it that way probably, but this way, yeah. Uh, and I could take the current plastic gear, shave it down from the outside that much, then I could just like wrap this around it See? All right. It's pretty heavy for the for its size. What, that piece of metal? Yeah, it's, pretty, it's so pretty heavy and so small. 